All right, everybody, in celebration of Hispanic Heritage Month, we turn our attention now to an East Village staple where careers have been made, emotions run raw multiple times a week. We're talking about the New Rican Cafe, which is celebrating its 50th anniversary. RJ Dow recently spent an evening there and sat down with its legendary executive director. Hey, Mother, when I was 16 and you started hearing voices, I wish I could have been that voice of reason for you. There are not many places in New York City where anyone can get up on stage. You deserve to be praised through echoes of light. You are not a secret garden. And pour their heart out in front of an attentive, appreciative crowd. <laughs> this is the New Yorican Poets Cafe in Manhattan's East Village. Where a lot of people know it as this arts venue, but you know, it's more than a venue. This year, the cafe celebrates 50 years of nurturing raw creativity. But the soil is still fertile, unlike the colonized spirit. And for the last year, it's been led by executive director and legendary New Yorican poet, Caridad de la Luz, who first took the stage here almost three decades ago in 1996. You must walk into this place every day just feeling not just the sense of history, but also the arc of your journey. It is home. It is home to me. And I mean, I started my career here as La Bruja, uh, open mic. This place has um, given birth to artists of all kinds. I mean, we've had Basquiat drawing on the napkins at the bar to pay for his drinks. While we are profiling the New Yorican Poets Cafe in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month and its role in fostering a sense of pride in Puerto Rican heritage, make no mistake, this is also a place which continues to open its doors and take under its wing. Most energy I've ever seen. Yeah. A broad spectrum of artists and their fans, regardless of race or ethnicity. This really is an institution of culture. People come from all over the world. The sense of collaboration begins at the line which routinely forms at the front door. The cafe's reputation is also legendary. This is the Mecca of poetry. Anybody, any minority, any race, religion could come here and drop their, their pains, their joys. Spoken word poet and frequent host Jay Rose is excited about the cafe's next chapter. This place is really special. I'm looking forward to like the renovations and seeing what, you know, they create out of this building. The New York Cafe's 50th anniversary also marks a rebirth. Later this fall, this cultural institution will temporarily close its headquarters to begin what's being called New York Construction. It's a complete renovation which will update the existing theater, add a new one, and a host of other improvements to create a modern day artist and entertainment venue. And don't worry, during the renovation, the cafe will be taking its show on the road, hosting pop-up shows, not just here in the city, but across the entire country and abroad. That's, That's cool.